Hey guys, I thought I would make a quick video on how to program the TT303. Um, I noticed there was a couple of other videos online which also show how to program it. Um, I'll just make another one. Might answer a couple of questions that some people might have. First thing, let's find a pattern that we'd like to to override or maybe a blank pattern. Easier just to find a blank pattern. This has got so much uh, memory. All right, so here's a blank pattern here. I'm in write mode. What you'll notice when you select pitch mode, this is this is the start of the pattern. There is no information on this at all. So that's why these lights here are blinking to indicate it's blank. There's there's no rest, there's no anything on this pattern. So we'll just start by selecting our first note. Now as you can see that it's just stuck on this note, which means that it hasn't advanced to the next step. To do that, we need to press tap, and you can see blank step. So I've got some notes in there now. What we'll do now is we'll set the length of the pattern. To do so, we go out into function mode, hold function down, and you press the step button here, and you count how many steps it is you'd like to have. Um, we'll just we'll start with eight. Then I've got eight. And I'll just play my pattern that I put in. All right, cool. Now what we can do is go back to the pattern and take a look at these notes. That's back at the very start. So this is a really cool feature which the original 303 didn't have the ability to do. You could step through forward from, from start all the way to whatever was in the memory. But you could only go back to the last step you're on. So if I was going through, I went... If I press the back button, it would only just go back to that one. If I press it again, it just kept, it just stayed on that one point. Whereas this, will go all the way back to the very first note. Very cool feature that. So let's put some put some variation on the pattern. That's pretty cool. You can hear what the notes the notes going to do. So there we go. Let's take a listen. Let's do another one. Once again, blank. Ah, not so blank. It's got something on it. <laughs> so we'll just clear that pattern, go back to function. Clear. You hold the, the note, pattern clear. That's clear. So we can see that it's clear. This time, what we'll do is we'll just put all of the transposition, accent, and slide as we're going forward. So. Sounds like it's falling down the stairs. Now we'll go and change the time mode a bit. You 
You can also just go back and pop it back to the standard steps. Now, with this latest firmware on the TT303, it's also got another cool feature which you can change the gate length of each step. Um, it's a global parameter, so once you engage it, it's affected every single pattern you've got. Now, I'll just give you an example of this. You hold function and the time mode, and just hold down for a while, and you'll see this little light here is on, which means this is the middle point. In the manual, it, it says, you know, it says d default. This is as close to the 303 as that they got it. So, um... Oh, actually, I'll just get back out of that mode so the pattern's running at the same time so we can hear the change. So this being the middle section default, very short notes, very long notes. So let's listen to the changes. Once you've found a length that you'd like, you just press function. That's applied to everything now. Very cool unit. So that's some of the features that you can have a look at and think about whether or not this unit's for you or not. Um, definitely I feel it's a more advanced way of programming than the original 303. Um, I like the fact that you can scroll from the start of the pattern all the way to the end and back and you, you just get a better visual understanding of what's what's on the pattern. hope this video has been good for you. I've got a new webcam here. Um, I don't actually think it's very good. I think I probably wasted my money. Take it easy, guys. Bye.